Good evening, I'm Peggy Scott Laborde and welcome to Step It Out, spotlighting the New Orleans area's arts and entertainment scene. Seated at our table tonight, Jimmy Anselmo, founder of Jimmy's Music Club. And Jimmy was inducted into the Louisiana Music Hall of Fame last year and he's here to discuss mm. some upcoming music events because you keep very busy. Yes, I'm a very ham. Excited. Well, I, like, I like it, I enjoy it. <laughs> we're yeah, glad, absolutely. we're glad. And Poppy Tooker, host of the WWNO radio program, Louisiana Eats. Hi, Hello. Peg. Hello, dear. <laughs> and back with us, we're so glad, Matt Lemler, pianist, vocalist, band leader, who also has some upcoming events. And he'll be playing for us a little later with Jason Marcellus. Welcome. Thank Welcome you. back, Thank sir. You. And of course, Alan Smason, our theater critic, editor of the Crescent City Jewish News. But first up, happy birthday, Poppy. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank Beautiful you. Beautiful cake. Mm -hmm. well, you, those people. A gracious bakery. They wanted to say thank you. Oh, and happy birthday for that some. little flex of it's gold. It's so beautiful. Oh, that's so <gasps> Megan oh, Rowan. Pretty, oh, dear pretty. God. Her pastries are beautiful. Isn't that gorgeous? It looks oh, like a float, huh, does, Peg? It does. <laughs> it does. Not yet, but it does. Yes, yes. Okay, Peg. Okay. I have some really exciting things to talk about today. And... Have you ever been to the Mid-City Porch Crawl? It has been a long time, because they've been doing it for quite a few years. Well, we have to make a date to go this okay. year, because this sounds like the... I didn't even know about the Porch Crawl, and I, that's why I really wanted to talk about it, so that everybody in the whole city has a chance to go to the Porch Crawl, not just the folks in Mid-City who are in the know. And it's put on by the Mid-City Neighborhood Organization. It's their signature fundraiser for the year. It happens Friday, October 16th, so I know that sounds like it's a long way away, but the tickets sell out. So you've got to just buy your tickets now. And the money raised at the event helps all kind of projects. For instance, youth volleyball programs and the Comiskey Park after school activities. There are six porches that you chill out at. And what is more New Orleans than stoop sitting, you know? <laughs> so really, they're just sitting on the stoop. Well, there's contests. It's incredible. There, um, There's food at each of the six porches. There is food from uh, Bayou Wine Garden, Ralph's at the Park, Katie's, Avery's, Dis and Dem, and the Mid-City Yacht Club are all donating the food. And for instance, Avery's pumpkin and seafood ravioli with brown butter sauce, Sheesh. and Katie's, the legend, stuffed poor boys. Those are just two of the things you'll be uh, eating. There'll be also a signature drink on each porch. And those drinks are coming from MoFo, Rum in the Lash, 12 Mile Limit, 12 My Limits doing something they're calling the Socialite, which is a vodka, pear, and orange flower water mixture. Oh, Doesn't man. that sound delicious? <laughs> it does. It and does. so it's all very competitive because there's trophies for best drink, best food, best porch decoration. There's costumed contests, so the costumed crawlers mm -hmm. can uh, also win. The kickoff and the finale will both happen at Redemption Restaurant. Oh, cool. And In Maria, absolutely. So Maria's going to be serving grilled, char-grilled oysters, and a special Halloween fall cocktail. And there'll be music at Redemption, too. So this the tickets, I can't believe how cheap it is. They're $40 for members of the Mid-City Association. Um, Non-members, it's $50. And then another neat deal is that if you've got your designated driver with you, they only pay $25. That's so idea. that's really yeah. great. Yeah. And you can get tickets either online or at Finn McCool's. Oh. And so please get tickets. <laughs> Go. You're going to love it. I can't wait till Halloween. So can you? I, oh, I love that. So another thing that's coming up is that the Gold Ring Center for Culinary Medicine, which is just that incredible program over in the Refresh Center on North Broad, they are doing again this year a series of celebrity and chef dinners. I don't know what they're thinking, because you know, I'm not a, a chef, I just play one on television. But anyway, <laughs> I'm the first out. I'm very nervous about this uh, attempt. But anyway, it all goes to a good cause, which is raising that money for the Culinary Medicine Center. Then, Grand Isle Restaurant. You know, Grand Isle opened up. I went to Grand Isle a few times. There was never anything there that I was like, 
oh, I have to go back. I have to have that again. Well, that's all changed now. They have a new executive chef. His name is Ryan Hagler. And he has worked for a long time at Revolution. And he actually brought some of his co-workers from Revolution. So you know mm, the quality of that food. Good company. How about alligator wings? Did you know alligators could fly? <laughs> I never knew that. So they have alligator wings with a sweet hot peach glaze and whipped blue cheese. They're serving traditional dobe with Creole cream cheese and shrimp stuffed manicotti. How does that sound? Mm. Fresh gulf <laughs> tuna. Okay, oh, that's a fish so head. That's a fish head. They're, they served a whole fried fish that was so delicious. Um, fresh gulf tuna. They've got chili butter baked mahi mahi. Um, Caribbean, now for those who don't eat seafood, Caribbean jerk grilled chicken salad with shaved celery sprinkled <laughs> with toasted mustard seeds, served atop a Leidenheimer poor boy bread. Mm. And they've also upped the game on their cocktails because that is called The Awakening, inspired by Kate Chopin's oh, novel. novel. Yeah. Yeah. Right. And it features gray goose pear, lime and orange flower water. Mm. It sounds like it's a socialite, but uh, it's a grand aisle <laughs> okay. too. So go, get those tickets for the porch crawl. Go to grand aisle and come see me and sounds keep your good. fingers crossed I make it through that dinner. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> sounds great. And of course, grand aisle right there in Fulton Street. Absolutely. Well. And we turn to Mr. Jimmy. And as I said, you, you, first of all, you're selling a, you're celebrating a birthday, okay? And so mm. is Michael O'Hara, who's one mm. of our favorites. And you're right. going to do something about it. Well, our birthdays are only a few days apart. And, uh, and we had uh, chosen uh, Austin's Restaurant, which is one of my favorites. Mm. Great food there. She'll say that, okay? Okay, how good it was. I'm dying to and come. <laughs> he, Michael performed there a couple months ago on the grand piano in the fora, and it was so well received. They sold out every table. Oh. Alan Toussaint came by, invited wow. him. He sat at my table. He enjoyed the show. Alan Toussaint sat in, and Alan Toussaint wow. said, uh, "This is hard for me to be here and follow this gentleman, Michael Hara." That's what a great performance he was. Yeah. So we're doing it again. Michael suggested that we do it over there for our birthday. It's going to be Thursday, September 17th at 6 p.m. for mm -hmm. dinner, and the performance will start at 7.30, and I'm telling people if they'd like to see the show and have dinner, make your reservations now, because they will sell out every table. And if the tables are sold out, you could just come to the bar, no cover charge, and see the show. Sounds and some fun. of the guests that said they are going to try to come by, Ricky Lee Jones said she'd try oh, to come by. Oh my gosh! My, uh, Alan Toussaint said he'd try to come by again, and Deacon John said oh, he would wow. be by, Please and get, Devel Crawford said oh, if okay. he's in town, well, he will try to make give it Michael by. Our you know, best because we I, love him. I, I, I sure now, will. Now you're also though you're in the concert promotion mode too because you've got a band you're bringing well, in. Well, huh? one of the bands that used to play Jimmy's back in the day in the '80s, they were very popular on TV. They're called the White Animals, <laughs> and they're from Nashville, Tennessee, and they were very popular with all the college students. Whenever they'd play, they'd pack, pack Jimmy's and they're on a reunion tour. They'll be at Jimmy's on Saturday, September 19th with a local band called The Rogue. So uh, people come out to that show. It starts at 7 p.m. Uh, tickets are $15 for that. Reasonable. And also, I'd like to mention Jimmy's Music Club, The Movie. Like us on Facebook, Jimmy's Music Club, The Movie. My director, David Treadway, and I, about 80% so you're chronicling the, the history of the, of Absolutely. the nightclub. Absolutely, of the nightclub in me. So that's in the okay. works. We've been at it for about three years, so we're about 80% complete. Great. Well, good. Mm. Good to Thank catch you. up with you. Absolutely. You. And you know, New Orleans Magazine's quiz queen, Julia Street, has a question for us. Last time, Holly Rockenbro told us what teams the Saints played in a preseason game at the Dome on the Friday night before Katrina hit, and also named the Saints head coach at the time, Baltimore Ravens and Jim Hazlitt. Now, tonight's question. All right, we're still in our Saints mode for the big game this weekend. Former New Orleans Saints head coach, which one opened a restaurant here in New Orleans? And what type of restaurant was it? Hmm. Email your answers to stephanout at wyes.org. Our prizes, a year subscription to Louisiana Life Magazine, a gift certificate for two courtesy of Vianne's Tea House in Old Mandeville, offering their culinary and gourmet tea experience.
And tonight we have a t-shirt as worn by WYS staffer Kelsey Schreiber with the message, life's a breeze, as we <laughs> hope this Sunday's game will be for our boys from our friends at wearablevegetables.com. And WYS wants you and a guest to have got two tickets to explore Indian culture and cuisine, plus watch a sneak peek of the new series that's going to be on PBS, Indian Summers. And that's WYS Indian Summers screening and events Saturday. September 26th at Metairie Park Country Day School and the seating is by reservation only and you can visit WYS.org for information on that and to view our online calendar to see our lineup of events and of course the LPO's return to the Orpheum next week looking Yay. forward to that <laughs> and you can link to our WYS YouTube channel to view our program if you missed it all kinds of good things. And now over to Matt. Matt, Monday night, a little yes. retro night, yes, huh? a little retro night, yes. This 1970s show, it's, it's been a, a, a improved, I guess. We've been performing it for about a year now or so, on and off. And, uh, and it started out as a tribute to 1970s music. But then it transformed into a, also a tribute to 1970s New Orleans and and my growing up in New Orleans and my experiences and things like that. Now you so, grew up in the Lower Ninth Ward, I huh? did. That's right, on Caffin Avenue. Oh, yeah. wow, yeah. which is where right Fats, Fats Domino. Yeah. a few yeah. blocks six, from Fats, six, huh? blocks, six blocks or so away from Fats Domino, that's right. Yeah, Great. every once in a while we'd see, we'd drive by and see his pink Cadillac out, out <laughs> yeah. uh, his home. Okay, well, you've got home. a few events coming up, so you've got that <coughs> on Monday, and what else? Monday night uh, is is the '70s show, and then uh, I, Sunday Sunday the. Um, You're at the Bombay. At huh? the 20th September 20th, I'm at the Bombay Club solo piano, uh -huh. and then every Sunday fun. morning I'm I just started uh, doing the helping the music at Christ Church Covington Church, in Ma in uh, Co Old Covington, mm -hmm. with uh, with my family, my brother Michael on piano and. Uh, and my, his his wife, my sister in law, Ashley, and we've been and Dan Carroll on drums, and so we've been doing doing that as well. Okay, so, good. Yeah. And in terms of um, your website for people to catch up with you, it's uh, www.mattlimler.com. Well, it's good. Real easy. Yeah. Well, I am so thrilled because you're going to be playing with us, and you're playing on a beautiful Steinway piano yes. because you're a Steinway artist. Yes, I am. It's it's that's a, a dream come true for me. I mean, it's a, a it's a nice you know, designation. It huh? is a huge honor for me. I mean, uh, when I was a little boy, George Gershwin was a Steinway artist and, and reading about Urban Berlin, Richard Rogers, and now, you know, people like Ellis Marcellus is a Steinway artist and, and Billy Joel and things like that. So wow. it's a it's a, a huge blessing to have that honor. And I, I personally want to thank Hall Piano for delivering yes, this thank wonderful. thank you for this beautiful. This we beautiful. wanted to keep it, but we understand. <laughs> yeah. But now we'll let you do that. We'll let you, we'll, now we'll hear, rather, right. from uh, Matt Lemler and vibraphonist Jason Marcellus performing What a Friend. This is a combination, What a Friend We Have in Jesus, plus Scott Joplin's Solace. And this song combination will be featured at Matt's concert Monday and also in his upcoming CD. And we'll be having Jason back as a guest in November. Let's take a look now.
in his band Monday night at Cafe Istanbul. And before we go to our artist spotlight, we'd like to show you the newest addition to our set. This is a painting called My Garden, and it's by the artist Mr. Larry. And note the vibrant colors, and it truly does depict his garden. And to see more of his work, you can call 621-6527. And now it's time for our weekly artist spotlight. Of course, tonight we are featuring images from the new exhibit at Newcomb Art Museum. That's in Moldenburg Art Center at Tulane University's campus. This is a 16-foot tall sculpture titled Companion Passing Through by Cause, K-A-W-S, also known as Brian Donnelly, who works within the pop art tradition. And other pieces in the exhibit are part of his personal collection. This is Yodel by 1970s Chicago artist Carl Worsom. And we have Speechless by Japanese abstract artist Tumu Kokita. All three artists are featured in a shared space on view through January 3rd, 2016. Visit the website for details. And before we go to Alan's segment, we want to acknowledge the recent passing of yeah. dear Margie O'Dare. Yes. Of course, she was a radio personality. The Dawn Busters. Dawn Busters. <laughs> Dawn Busters. Oh. And we've got a great photo of her and also a, a very talented actress. Let's look at this photo. This was taken by Stephen oh. Forrester yeah. with our own Al Shea, beloved Al Shea. Mm -hmm. They were locked time friends we want to thank uh TP to timespeakingunola.com for letting us use that picture. It's so great. She was also in the Big Easy couple movies as well, so she figured That's in right. too. That's yeah. right, and I remember her in Hello, Dolly, mm -hmm. and yeah. Fiddler on the Roof, too, yeah. but she'll be very, very sorely missed. A very yeah. nice lady, very supportive of other actors, too. Absolutely. All right, Mr. Allen, All right. we've got well, a lot, We're, we're, we're going to move on now to a tour of 18th century France with David Adjami's irreverent retelling of the tale of the doomed Queen of France, none other than Marie Antoinette herself. Uh, think about this as as history meets the Kardashians, because it really is all about celebrity. <laughs> Cecile Montaigne plays Marie as the conceited, spoiled, modern, rich girl who married well. <laughs> so you can think about that performance. It's really extraordinary. She moves from a self-obsessed monarch into a martyr of the ruling class. Mark Ruthier directed this stylized piece, which features great support from A.J. Allegra as the ill-fated Louis XVI, a king who is more child than man. And uh, supporting actors include James Yergin as a lover, Julie Dietz and Maggie McGurn as regal sycophants, and James Bartell as, of all things, a talking sheep who comments on the downfall of the royal family. That's Graham Burke. He's particularly menacing as a revolutionary, and Kyle Woods was enjoyable in his royal as a royalist, later a guard. The entire French Revolution is sanitized, but if you look at it, the whole set is set upon a guillotine. I want to also uh, call out Bill Walker for his scenic design, Duncan Becker for his projections. Really nice work. And the focus of this two-act drama really does boil down to Cecile and her performance. She takes the role and owns it like few other actresses of her generation can. At the end, she's reduced to wearing rags, and despite her possessions being taken away, her hair taken off of her, she's both brave and defiant, and she meets her demise. It's truly a royal performance. Marie Antoinette that plays through September the 20th. So we're now we're going to move from the Royals <clears throat> to the Commoners because we have some uncommon comedy with one of my favorite ranters and lover of all things New Orleans, Jim Fitzmorris. This is Be a New Orleanian, a swearing in ceremony. The mm. playwright has finally taken off the wraps of his first solo performance at his own theater, the Theater at St. Claude, and it's a comedy tour de force. You know, it really must be seen by people who are from New Orleans. Jim tackles truths like the four universal ways in which we as New Orleanians comment about things, the fact that no one ever uses turning signals in New Orleans, the Hollywood version of New Orleans, which of course is versus the reality of New Orleans, and the true meaning behind what school did you go to? <laughs> so all of those things are, are brought in, be a New Orleans swearing in ceremony. You will be sworn in, yes, at the end of this well-written diatribe about uh, what it means to be uh, from this city. Uh, again, he carries the mantle of, of, of a true New Orleanian. Again, I was uh, telling him that I thought it would have been a great idea if he made everybody stand at the swearing in ceremony, <laughs> and that way he'd get a standing, uh, oh. you know, overture, oh, 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 ovation oh, at the end. But no, he, he did not do it. One thing I would say, there are two things. It's really a problem because it's too short. He really should expand this work. I 
I really love it so much. And the other thing is, he eats that donut on stage, and I felt like I was watching Dick Bruce eating oh. a slice of Mackenzie's pie. <laughs> and only true New Orleans would know what I'm talking about here. <laughs> there's still plenty of time to be sworn in. It goes all the way till September the 26th. And there's lots of theater news, as in theater space. You know, uh, uh, we mentioned that Orpheum Theater is opening again for the LPO coming up uh, this next week. Well, also on Tuesday, the Sanger Theater opens up its Broadway season. Um, we just announced this last week that along with the Mahalia Jackson Theater, the Sanger was sold to the Ambassador Theater Group out of London, mm -hmm. uh, which should have some very good news for us and a lot of touring uh, companies that will maybe come down here now as a result of that. Don't forget, though, that the Little Mermaid, the New Orleans series, opens with uh, that Howard Ashman, Alan Menken, Glenn Slater musical. Uh, it has a new book by Glenn Casal. Uh, those of you who remember the classic Disney film with, you know, Part of Your World and Kiss the Girl and Les Poissons, well, they're all in that plus more. And Prince Eric and Ariel will be making every little girl and boy happy to see it. Again, uh, these dance sequences they have are all designed to appear to be under the sea. So uh, again, it's still opening Tuesday and continues until next weekend. Broadway in New Orleans, The Little Mermaid. Meanwhile, it's opening night. Yes, indeed, you remember that? That is part of Rivertown Theater's opening for the uh, theater of the performing arts that they have in, in Rivertown for the producers, directed by none other than our own favorite, Ricky Graham. It's going to star, uh, of course, Sean Patterson as Max Bialystok, Gary right. Rucker as Leo right. Bloom, an right. all-star cast. They also look for Kevin Murphy as Roger DeBreeze and Alan Payne as Franz Liebkin, the playwright, of course, who writes springtime for Hitler. The producers <laughs> runs through September 27th. We'll have a, um, uh, a review on that uh, uh, a little bit later on. Mm -hmm. And um, I, I think that uh, pretty much wraps up most of what I, I, I wanted mm -hmm. to mention. Uh, uh, we did uh, have one other thing, uh, I think, uh, Stage that, kiss is coming that I wanted up, to mention, is, and that is yeah. at Southern Rep. Yeah. Southern Rep has uh, Sarah Rule's uh, Stage Kiss. And Stage Kiss is, of course, uh, one of her comedy uh, pieces. Uh, it, it deals with a, a lady, Amé Hayes, and uh, Trey Burvant, who are playing he and she, she and he, mm -hmm. basically, and uh, they actually were uh, former, uh, in formerly involved, let's say, mm -hmm. and they have to do a, a kiss on stage. So okay. uh, it should be very interesting in that work as well, and that's going to be the Ache Powerhouse Theater. All right, thank you so much. And now it's time for picks. Jimmy, quick pick. Next uh, week, huh? Next week, okay. uh, Jimmy's Birthday Party with Michael O'Hara, okay, Austin's Restaurant, fine. and the White Animals at my old club, The Willow, Saturday oh, the 19th. Right. Poppy. Opening this weekend, the most mm -hmm. incredible photography exhibit, the, pho the photography of modernist cuisine Ooh. at the museum at the Southern Food and Beverage. It's incredible. Don't miss it. All right, Matt, once again, your website for details. MattLumler.com. All right, yeah. great. Alan. And before I, I go to my pick, I wanted to mention that it's going to be Rosh Hashanah, so Happy New Year 5776 to all of our Jewish friends. Anthony Beans, Wilsonian players are going to be redoing Fences. This is the recycling of the August Wilson and plays again through September the 27th and opens this weekend. All right, great, thank you. And my picks, the third annual Down River Festival is tomorrow. That's from 11 to 6 p.m., 11 a.m. to 6 p.m., events at the old U.S. Mint and the French Market. I'll be there speaking with John McGill on how the Mississippi River shaped New Orleans. That's it from 3.15 to 4.15 at the Mint on the third floor. Earlier at 2 o'clock, Sally Asher discusses female bootleggers with scenes depicted by local actors and you can visit the French Market's website to see the full lineup of lots of music and food related events and the NOLA Blue Dew Run takes place that's tomorrow to benefit the Tulane Cancer Center for September's Prostate Cancer Awareness Month. Check-in is at 3.30 and the race starts at 5. Following the race there'll be entertainment and food and a silent auction. All takes place on the Tulane campus. Visit nolabluerun.org for more info on that. And Loyola University presents Waiting Home, an opera of New Orleans that's tomorrow evening and Sunday afternoon at Roussel Hall. The performance is free, what a deal. Open to the public and features some of the city's finest opera singers. Call 865-2074 to reserve your seat. Melinda Rose will sign her new book of The Rising Tide, a collection of her photographs next Tuesday evening at September 15th at Garden District Bookstore. And now, looking ahead, next Friday, Light Up the Night takes place at 7 p.m. at the home of Jim Perrier and Jim Ashby on St. Charles Avenue, and that's to benefit LighthouseLouisiana.org. And now we're glad to say we get to hear more from Matt and Jason. 
and they are going to be doing an homage to many of the public TV's favorite uh, memories of uh, Sesame Street and all kinds of great songs that will sound familiar. Take a listen. Good night. to get to Sesame Street. Rub a ducky joy of joys. When I squeeze you, you make noise. Rub a ducky, you're my very best friend, it's true. Ooh, every day when I make my way to the tubby, I find a little fellow who's cute. And yellow and chubby Oh, rubber ducky You're so fine And I'm lucky that you're mine Rubber ducky I'm awfully fond of you Zabo do da do zo zo zat Like you, I've always wanted to live in a neighborhood with you. 